What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm showing you how to get the full Ornit armor set that came with the new Crack the Clue. The Ornit armor set is obtainable in free to play as well and it has no requirements to wear. The stats and defense bonuses aren't all that great and the identical gear is comprised of iron and leather. Each of the locations require you to have some extra items in your inventory in order to find the Ornit armor. You will need all of the items listed on the screen right now and from the beginning you should take all of these with you. All of the locations are within walking distance of each other but teleports will significantly speed it up. As a free-to-play player, you should bring two Falador and two Varrock teleports. As a member, you should take these teleports on the screen. The second one there is a Charged Glory or a Charged Combat Bracelet, and the other amulet is a Burning Amulet. So start off by teleporting to Falador and running south. You need to make your way right next to the Air Altar, and the tile you need to dig on is directly north of this tree where I'm standing. Upon digging, you'll get the Ornette Legs. From here, make your way further south all the way to where the water begins and where Skippy roams. You can also take a Fairy Ring, which might be slightly faster, but it's a very close walk. Here, you'll need to dig one tile away from the water. And from this, you'll get the Ornette Gloves and Boots. If you're a free-to-play player, teleport to Falador again. As a member, the fastest way to the next location is using a combat bracelet to the Monastery or a Glory to Edgeville. Walk to the area of the Black Knight's Fortress. And upon reaching this tile, you need to use the Shrug and then the Cheer emote. From that, the plate body will automatically appear in your inventory. Next up, teleport to Varrock and then make your way to the East Bank. Deposit all of your items, except for the final Varrock teleport, your burning amulet if you're a member, and you'll also need the goblin mail, plain pizza, wooden shield, and cheese. From the bank, walk out of the east entrance of Varrock and make your way down south to east side of the Dark Wizard Circle. Once you get to this tile, you'll need to drop the goblin mail and all of your other teleports, since you can only have the cheese, wooden shield, and pizza in your inventory to get the item. You need to do the bow, yes, and then the clap emote. A mysterious guy will appear giving you the Ornit helmet. Be sure to then pick up the rest of your stuff. The final piece to get is in the wilderness, right at the entry of the Chaos Temple. If you didn't bank your other items before, go ahead and bank them now. As a free-to-play player, the fastest way there is to walk directly north from where you were before. As a member, you can use the Burning Amulet, the first option straight to the Chaos Temple. But before you teleport, I recommend putting on Protect From Magic because there are high-level druids there on a member's world. At the entry of the temple, you'll need to dig slightly to the west, giving you the Ornit Cape. Now from here, you can use your final Varrock teleport out and you'll have the full Ornit armor set. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide. Leave a like if you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.